Hey, so YouTube loves big numbers, so if you could do me a huge favor and smash that like, crush that subscribe, and maybe even leave a comment. Thank you. All right, good morning. There's a problem, see? Yep. Yep. Zipper's broken. Other things are broken too, but they don't matter as much. But, yeah. It's annoying. All right, it's 7.30. That is where I camped. Pretty sloped, pretty rocky. But I slept all right. It, uh isn't really ideal, but you know, I was kinda caught in a place with no options. <laughs> it happens. So today, I was hoping to do somewhere around 25. Um, we'll see how it goes. going to be a lot of ups and downs, more elevation gain, more elevation loss, just because we're entering the Sierras, going to be a little more rugged. So this is the part of the trail I've always looked forward to, I've always had on my mind so I mean once I hit Kennedy Meadows North that's what it's gonna really start you know at least according to hikers so that with the impending winter I uh you know, really have it all on my mind quite a bit. I'm hoping that the zipper malfunction isn't going to be a, a constant thing. I hope it's, you know, I don't know, <laughs> somehow magically fixes itself. When I was putting my tent away, it zipped just fine. So, go figure. <sighs> Uh, anyway, let's see what the day holds. Okay, I need to see all the red rocks and then some of these green rocks right next to them. It's interesting. I'm also loving the trees out here. Look how the bark kind of makes them look twisted. There you go, there's the reveal. That's pretty awesome. Pretty nice little mountain in the sunrise, right? I gotta check that out. See all sorts of rock formations over here. Even dogs fail idiot checks. The saddest boy. All right, getting to the top of the hill here. Ah, look at that, there's a lake. Let's see, there's been signs of feral mountain cows on the trail. Some uh, feral pies have been left on the trail, you see. Uh, but no such luck in seeing any. I did run into one 
southbound PCT guy. But it's about as much conversation as Wilson. So, which is fine, you know. A lot of people prefer to have their uh, alone time in the wilderness. So, of course, if you don't want to talk, I won't talk. So, away I walk. It's a nice looking lake, though. I'm really enjoying the change of the colors and the leaves. Still kind of worried about getting through before it gets too cold, though. But how warm it is right now, I think I'll be fine for the next couple days at least. And it's not even like midday either. It's still kind of warm. It's probably like 9.30 right now, maybe. I don't think it's even 10. Oh, it's definitely not 10 yet. Maybe it's like 8.30. No, let's see, I left at 7.30. Yeah, maybe it's around 9. I didn't even look at the time, you know. But yeah. Pretty warm. It's a pretty good view of that lake over there, right? Check it out. It's pretty glassy. Not too bad. Looks like it'd be nice and refreshing right now. Jump in and freeze a little. All right, Kidney Lake is just over there. I don't know. I don't really know anything about Kidney Lake, but I know that it's there. I know that there's water. Isn't that all you need to know? I guess, you know, you probably want to know if there's fish or something, if, if that's your thing. But, sorry, I don't have that information. I just saw Tapatio. I don't know if I mentioned this, but now every larger squirrel is Tapatio and every smaller squirrel or chipmunk is Sriracha. It's canonical for me now. Hey, look at that. There's a flag at the top of the hill. Oh, it's been claimed. America has been here. So just over there is the road. It's like just down the hill, you can hear the car. Or a car, I think. Yeah. Hear it? So anyway, you know, I don't know if, if I'm just so used to the wilderness now or if it's just like a legitimate thing, but uh, I don't ever really feel like I'm that much in the wilderness anymore. Like in the beginning, when I was first starting this trip, I was like, man, I'm way out here. And, and really, you're not that far. I mean, at most, I've had, what, like, a hundred some odd miles between, you know, one road to another. You know, or it would be like a cabin or something somewhere, somewhere along the way, or whatever the case is. But I think, so really think about it if you're on a trail at most 
you're about 50 miles from a road if you just keep walking. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe there's spots that are more secluded, more out there, but I just don't feel like it's, uh, like I'm never really that far into the wilderness. Let's go this way, I guess. Let's see. We have a sign over here. Yep, across the road there. A little sure sign that I'm on the right trail here. But yeah. I mean, maybe it's just, you know, someone who hasn't done this, maybe a day or two feels like a long time, but really, like a week doesn't feel like you're that far in the wilderness. Uh, maybe one day, <laughs> if and when I do the CDT, I'll be like, yeah, now this, this is wilderness. Not too bad of a view of the mountain there. Pretty nice. Just kind of walking along this path here. Oh, see the bird? Yeah, look at him. Oh, there you go. Anyway. Yep, just walking along. Gonna get to the water source that I'm shooting for kind of soon. Probably, maybe in about a mile or so. And then I'll stop for a couple minutes, empty the pebbles from my shoes. You know, you're really supposed to do that like immediately, but I'm stupid. I just, uh, <laughs> I don't want peace, I want problems. I mean, you know, it's, it's not like it's in a bad spot. Sometimes these pebbles will just find a, a place in their shoe that somehow they don't bother you anymore. It's like, all right, whatever. As long as you don't leave a blister, we're good. All right, this was a nice little spot to fill up get my water, my hydration. Uh, yep. Now, I could see on the hill over there, that's where the path leads. So, I suppose I go somewhere up there. Now, it's like 11 o'clock and I've only done like just under nine miles. Going slow today, jeez. But hoping to hit that 24-ish mark still, because then I'd only have 12 miles till Kennedy Meadows, give or take. So that'll be good. I'll be meeting my grandparents there we will be dropping off supplies because uh, Kennedy Meadows North actually closes today for the season. So, yeah. It's a good thing that we didn't mail the supplies there. Otherwise, that'd be SOL. Yeah, I'm really not sure what this one says. It is long worn away. So, I think in another mile, 
I get to, I guess, the pass up there. Maybe it's over there. Yeah, maybe it's over there because the trail seems to go that way. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the pass. And I think I'll have my lunch there. That'll be nice to have a view in the lunch too. All right, I made it to the saddle. Uh, not as scenic as I thought it might be. But hey, I, I see a, a lake over there. I see some pretty awesome mountains. So, give you an idea, I'm at 9,300 feet. A little bit more, but you know, you don't count the ones and the tens when the, the thousands and the hundreds are pretty significant. Anyway, I'm gonna sit over here, I'm gonna have a little lunch, and uh, I'll continue on from there. All right, I finished up my lunch. The great thing about eating lunch is, oh no, no, oh no, he grew up and after his mysterious disappearance of his parents, <clears throat> he got lost in the wilderness and burned. Poor little guy. He was just a... A young shovel. Anyway, um, this this is going to be an ongoing uh, thing. Apparently, I didn't expect shovels to be so heart wrenching. Um, what was I going to say? So it's one o'clock. So that means I have about six hours of light about five that I want to use. Uh, so that's about 10 miles. You know, if I'm doing an average of two an hour. I mean, I could do three miles an hour, but I don't think that's going to happen. See, look, the evidence of a feral cow Anyway, I don't think the three an hour is going to happen because I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of down right now and then I'm going to be doing just as much up soon. So pretty much I'm just going to be going maybe about a thousand feet down and a thousand feet up again. It might not be that much, but it's, it's it kind of looked like it on the map. <clears throat> so... I'm going to wager two mile an hour pace. Um, probably not going to make it as far as I wanted to make it today, but that's okay. Uh, I'm getting some really cool views today. I mean, this morning was pretty great. This right here is pretty nice too. enjoying this so anyway and besides getting the Kennedy Meadows north tomorrow is going to be kind of like a Nero not really a Nero it's going to be like probably going to end up being like 15 miles or so but you know that's where I'll be meeting up with my grandparents so I won't be doing a full 20 to 25 Anyway, you know, I wonder, it's like these places are within 30 miles, right? So you'd think if I actually knew where they were, I'd be able to see them. There's visibility is pretty, pretty clear. Oh, it looks like it's actually raining over there. Anyway. I'll uh, turn the camera off and ramble to myself for a bit. If I see any other tragic shovels, I'll be back. Carson Iceberg Wilderness. Uh, I think we're out of ice. 
Oh boy, it's time for a gate. It's a two-handed operation here, there we go. Wow, this is a delightful gate. Doesn't even squeak really loud or anything. It's been a while since I've seen a, a gate. I, you know, you, sometimes you just, you don't know what you miss until you have it again. And you're like, wow, I really missed that. You know, I thought that I was gonna see more gates being in California again. You know, cause there were quite a few for a while in SoCal and Oregon until the last one in Oregon where there were no more. But, I don't know, maybe they're just not fashionable. Maybe something about our capitalistic society not respecting private land, which that doesn't sound like it really goes together. But anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know. We need more gates. Check out this tree. That's kind of weird rings on it. It's interesting. It's like you could count how many rings a tree has and know its age. But I don't think that's the same thing. There's water here. But I imagine at one time it was a little higher. Pretty neat, right? See all the, I guess the, the lines where it was at. I was carving it for however long. Oh, pretty cool. All right, look at that. We can see that it's raining over there. It's kind of neat, actually. Uh, earlier, I got a couple drops that hit me. Nothing like substantial, but got a couple taps and then really small, small sprinkles. So, I guess a little bit of weather's coming through. I wonder if I'll see any thunder and lightning storms. Not that I'm a big proponent because that's where most of the trouble came from when I was up north was the lightning that caused all the fires. But, you know, if there's rain, I do enjoy some thunder and lightning, as long as there's no uh, fires. But, yeah, the, that'd probably be like a later in the journey thing. For now, it's just some precipitation. I'm digging the hill there, though. That looks pretty cool. Neat. Neat cliff face right there. Uh, I guess I'll show you the rest. Right there. Kind of came from that direction. Actually, I came from over there somewhere. Maybe I came from the other side of that hill, actually. Maybe. Hard to tell. Hard to know the forest you walk through from the trees, you know? Check this out. This is pretty cool. 
Is it weird that it makes me hungry? It's like something with caramel. Maybe some kind of flan. It's pretty cool though. Now we're coming up over the hill here. This mountain already looks really cool. Let's see what the view is from this saddle. Oh yeah, we got some snow up there. Those peaks. All right. Wow, look at this, this is really cool. breeze coming down from the hill on my right. Whew. Yeah, you see it's raining over there. See, I told you, I was like, yeah, look at all these clouds. I thought there'd be some, some rain somewhere. Sheesh. You didn't even listen to me. Didn't, didn't think I was onto it. That is really cool. I don't care how sleepy you are. That's awesome. Wow, look at this. I was like walking up the path and I saw this pine cone. I was like, whoa, this is really pretty. <laughs> and I'm getting sap over my fingers, but wow, so cool. All right, I made it to my home for the night. Oh, look at this, there's some kind of metal thing. Oh, it's for a cooking stove, okay. Anyway, somebody failed an idiot check. Now, I'm gonna set up my tent. I'm gonna do some eating without a stove. Or any kind of cooking wear. And my zipper's gonna work, dang it. My zipper's gonna work and they're not gonna give me a problem. Well, I don't think I have to really worry about the zipper anymore. <sighs> Seriously. Man. <laughs> well. <sighs> it's gonna be a real rink-a-dink real quick, isn't it? All right, well, I'm set up. About as well set up as I can be. I don't know how the zipper situation will fare, but it can't, it, it can't be any worse than the pole. Maybe. Anyway. Today, not too bad of a day. I mean, you know, I uh, I got a decent amount of miles in. Not as many as I initially hoped, but you know, whatever. My legs are a little, a little resistant to progress. Um, my calves do feel better. They st still are pretty sore, but uh, you know what are you gonna do? Um. A lot of a lot of elevation change. I mean I'm coming into the Sierras, so it's gonna be a lot of up and down, so that's going to impact the actual mileage, right? I won't have all those times to enjoy three mile an hour paces anymore, because those ups and then those downs. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I did I did meet another um, southbound hiker. He had all of the uh, charisma of a doorknob, so that's okay. I mean, I'll just keep walking. 
Maybe I'll find somebody else to talk to, aside from squirrels and and a camera. Um, and there were some great views, so that's good too. Anyway, that about sums up the day. I'm going to eat, because uh, I have a lot of food to get through. I'm getting resupplied tomorrow, and I have a lot of food still. So much, so much. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just feast while while I still have light. And I hope it doesn't rain tonight. I um, because I, I didn't put my my rain cover on. I mean, Murphy's Law says that I probably should, considering. My current tent situation. We'll see. Anyway, thank you and good night. Murphy's Law reigns supreme. But I think I figured out a way to make the zipper work, kind of. I'm tired. Uh, I'm tired too, phone. I'm tired too.